Secured Entrepreneurs. We are putting the DJ Khaled remix on this one as we are continuing to see the new Secured Entrepreneurs who are coming on board making these very same financial mistakes. All right, let's get into it. We're going to get into the five financial mistakes that entrepreneurs are making because many, many entrepreneurs actually do make this mistake. She underestimated the sales cycle for her business. Okay. And by that, I mean that she was over optimistic with her revenue projections. And how did that happen? Remember, Miss Aurora already told the secured entrepreneurs that a majority of the individuals out here trying to start a business are following and listening to individuals who are coming from multi-level marketing companies. They have not created their own business, right? So this young lady was actually in three multi-level marketing companies. She was participating with three multi-level marketing companies, right? So she was going to meetings. She was, you know, getting hyped up. They're singing songs. They're jumping around. They got little pamphlets. She was getting products. And what was she doing? She was uh, taking them to uh, her job, taking them to her friends. She was going to uh, places uh, where she had groups of people and she was selling things. Okay. So because she was selling things, she felt as though when she came out to do her own thing, she was going to have the same results, but that did not happen. That did not happen because in the multi-level marketing companies that she was with, she was not allowed to actually do outside marketing. She wasn't allowed to market on the internet. Okay. She wasn't allowed to do any marketing that the companies did not give permission for her to do. As she recruited people, her numbers would constantly increase. But when she went out to do her own thing, those numbers were not adding up. So as we say, the math was not mathing, right? So, so she underestimated the sales cycle, right? And this is, this is a, a grave mistake that entrepreneurs make because what happens is that if you, if you're having these grandiose ideas about how much money you're going to make, um, at the very beginning, you're, you're going to have a lot of financial issues. And you're going to do things like you, you, you may overspend money that you don't have because you actually believe the money is coming back quickly when in all actuality, it's going to take more time than you think to number one, make money. Number two, see a profit to her not being able to monitor the key performance indicators in her business. She had no idea how much it costs for her to acquire a client. She had no idea how much it costs for her to get a customer, to keep a customer. She had no idea why, because she came from a multi-level marketing background where it was a low entry to a low entry barrier, right? She, she, I think it was like $50 or something like that. She said to get in there and then she paid some, she paid wholesale for the products and she earned 20 or $30 when she sold the product. She, she didn't know how to monitor those things. She didn't know, you know, what it was costing to get this client in the door. Okay. This is a mistake. You have to know what it's costing you to get a client. You cannot get caught up in these traps. Okay. Because guess what happens when you do not know how much is costing you to acquire a client is coming right up to the third mistake, which some of you already know. The third financial mistake is over investing in non essential expenses. So here we go because she had no idea how much it costs for her to get a client through the door. She goes out there and gets all these people to help her start to market. So now we already know you got all these people out there. Oh, uh, I'm a social media marketing agency. Oh, I'm going to do 
uh, ads for you. I'm going to do graphics, all these things. And so she's spending money on all this stuff, expense, 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 right? Hiring all these people, paying all this money for these ads. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's going on a credit card. Not only are you doing that, but now you've got these people talking you into getting on all these different platforms that she didn't have any control over. They had control over all of these things. She didn't even have logins. How many of y'all did this now? Come on, don't feel shame. Comment below. <laughs> Comment below if you did all of this. She didn't know how to log into these things. She didn't even know what they was doing. She had all these people putting, putting all this stuff together. She was trying to get phone calls. She didn't know what was happening. Okay. And you know why she felt comfortable with that? Well, these multi-level marketing companies give you a website. So she already had a website where people could come and she would put orders in the back office. If they needed to come to the website and place an order, they could do that. So she was very comfortable with paying these people and they said they were going to put this thing together and okay, that's what they did. Okay. So now every month here's this money going out, but, but there's, there's no, there's no money coming in, but the credit card bills are coming. What's number four? Ignoring debt management. So now she's in all this debt. This is how we're leading. This is how, this is why we're in the bankruptcy. Because now you're in all of this debt. You, 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 you're in all of this debt because you have now been talked into doing all of these ads that, that are yielding no results. You've been talk, talked into uh, getting, all, getting on all these platforms that's costing you money every month. Uh, 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 along with some other things that uh, the client felt was necessary. And we all have done this. Okay. And when there's no money coming in, which sales is the lifeblood of your business, right? Right. No money coming in. You cannot pay your bills. Okay. So if you are not managing the debt, you cannot repay these people. All right. Now the business credit is down, down the crapper not even understanding your tax obligations when you are, you are operating in commerce improperly. Single member LLC. She was registered as a single member LLC. Okay. Was going to some tax preparer who was telling her that she could get this exemption, this exemption for all these particular things. She got a letter from the Internal Revenue Service the first year out, okay, uh, filing as a self-employed. She got a letter the first year out. She had to make some arrangements. Mistakes. These are the top five mistakes that entrepreneurs are making. And that is why we here in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement have a remedy for all of that. So let me just leave you all with this. You already know that you need to have your entities properly structured. So please go on over to auroradayconsulting.com and check out the secured entrepreneur packages. Okay. And, and lastly, you know, I feel for all of the entrepreneurs who get on the calendar, who share with me how they really fell into the trap of getting all this business credit that I went out there and ran up all this business credit could not repay. And that's what happened with this client. And not only that, but started the business credit the wrong way. Okay. So not only is the business credit messed up, but the personal credit is messed up, which is what's uh, running people into the chapter seven. So that means that the business as well as the person has to file a bankruptcy. And if, if you do not want to do that, you have got to get the correct information and do this thing the right way. And everybody on this channel knows that Miss Aurora is here to help you get it right. Okay. So that's what Miss Aurora wants to share with you today in this video. You all know you can find me, Miss Aurora Day at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.